and politics we are all for that hello there my name is ab and today's black history focus is elizabeth domitian elizabeth was born in 1925 she was a politician and the very first and only female to have served as the prime minister of the central african republic Elizabeth's family had a farm, her father was a postal service worker, and her mother was a farmer. Elizabeth helped her mother with farming and helped the family sell their products. She knew how to read, write, cook, and sew. These were skills she acquired from her Catholic school that she attended. Because of her enterprising nature and her personality, Elizabeth became an informal leader in her community amongst the women. By the age of 20, she was involved in the liberation movement in the Central African Republic. Elizabeth mobilized the people with her speech, helping unite different groups in the community and in the country, which helped create a sense of national identity. Elizabeth belonged to the Movement for Social Evolution of Black Africa, also known as MISAN, where she became the leader of the female wing and eventually became the president of the party in 1953. Elizabeth was a special advisor to the president and the commander-in-chief, respectively, when the country gained independence in 1960. Five years down the line in 1965, the commander-in-chief Bakosa decided to oust the president through a coup and he became the leader of the country. He elected himself the president for life of the Misan party and elected Elizabeth as his vice president because she had people appeal and he needed that on his side. In 1975, which happened to be the International Year of Women, Bakosa tried to redeem his image in public eye and elected Elizabeth as the Prime Minister of the country. She now is the first female Prime Minister in an African country. And in Central African Republic, she has been the only female Prime Minister in the country. Shortly after, Bakosa's government was ousted. She was arraigned and tried and found guilty of extortion and corruption during his regime. In 1993, when a civilian government took over, she was recompensated for wrongful accusations. Elizabeth died on the 26th of April, 2005.